Hey, how's it going? I feel very sorry for Harley. Very sorry for Harley. I, I hope... I hope she's able to find a way to cope with this. Um, but uh, I wanted to discuss some things about this situation. First off, I'm disappointed that it is being attributed to a combination of PTSD with hallucinogens. The reason for my disappointment in this is that, you know, recently we've found, it, it has been found, that hallucinogens can help those that are suffering from PTSD. It will, it can take, it can allow people to look at situations in their past and remove some of the emotional bite from it. So it doesn't end up I mean, because part of what PTSD is, is is every time you go to look back at something, it becomes emotionally worse. It's like, it, it's a feedback machine, sort of. And when you can take away the emotional bite from a, a situation, when you, when you go to look at something that happened that was awful in your past, you're able to process it differently. And so from that point on, you're able to to look at that without as much emotional attachment to it. And so it, it has those advantages. And it, it, we were coming closer to being able to have it potentially be legalized for specific medicinal uses under uh, uh, supervision of doctors type of thing. You know, to have that kind of research be able to be legal and have people be able to do those kinds of things. And uh, this is going to be a huge blow to that. Huge blow. And the other thing that's so disappointing about this is, you know, everyone at the Skeptic Feminist was trying to focus on things that are awful for women all across the globe. They very much talked about things that happened in the Middle East. Um, to my knowledge, they've supported and been at the center of things that would help uh, women across the globe. Um, you know, they regularly acknowledged that, yeah, we, we, we have it pretty good here compared to a lot of the rest of the world. Um, they seemed really reasonable on those subjects. Um, and it's, it saddens me that people who were trying to be reasonable, one of the people, you know, uh, went off the deep end. And, yeah, that's really disappointing. It's, it's, it could do damage to uh, the building that just recently happened with Lacey Green. The building where we're trying to show that yes, we can, we maybe we can all talk about this stuff and look at the issues and uh, you know talk with those who we disagree with or we think we disagree with, but we might actually agree with, right? Um, it might be just an issue of wording sometimes, you know. And this is a blow to that sort of idea. Some people are going to take it like it, without ever saying anything, but it's going to be a, a symbol that's going to be in people's heads that if you try to take feminism, uh, you know, some of the good things out of feminism, uh, you know, you're, you're still probably not right in the head or, or something like that, it, it, you know, uh, the, these... Because I know it passed through my head, and then I went, well, wait, no, that's not right. But there's going to be some people out there who aren't going to say, well, no, that's not right. They're not going to say that. They're, they're just going to have that in their head. They may not talk about it, but it's going to, to influence their thinking. And, you know, it's, it, it, it was a blow to, to a number of things. Um, and someone is dead. Someone is dead. 